Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the superior brand Silver Arrows from Conjuring Arts, Jackson Robinson and the Expert Playing Card Company. All right, so a little bit about the Silver Arrows from Conjuring Arts, Expert Playing Cards and Jackson Robinson. Uh, this new latest expansion of the Superior brand line comes in two new back designs. So you have the Silver Arrow and the Silver Arrow Poker Back. Now the Silver Arrow Poker Back has an attractive overall back design, which is perfect for playing poker or during those table slides that a lot of people love to work on. The standard Silver Arrow deck has an attractive white bordered back design, which is perfect for a sleight of hand. And there's even a couple of subtle tweaks, some design tweaks, that help you do some certain kinds of magic effects. Both decks are done in the classic finish, so they handle beautifully and dependably. The faces are the standard superior faces with a brand new Ace of Spades and a brand new set of Jokers from Jackson Robinson. The Tuck Ace is done in like a two-tone silver. You have the matte silver that kind of wraps all the way around and then you have this metallic silver that you see in the Superior Brand logo. Uh, the front of the Tuck Ace simply says Superior Brand and Expert Playing Card Company. Fine quality playing cards, silver arrows back. Uh, one side says Expert Playing Card Company, the other side says Superior Brand Playing Cards. The bottom has some ad copy, and the top says Classic Finish Poker Size. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards, and there's no uh, tuck seal, which is nice. You got the nice old school uh, big fatty uh, tongue flap that says Superior, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Expert Playing Card Company with their Classic Finish. Now, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, best thing I can do is measure them with a caliper and let you know uh, uh, what, how thick they are and then compare them to maybe other decks you've held or owned. Uh, so what I do is I take 10 cards, I take 10 cards, stick those into a caliper, measure those 10 cards, and then compare them against other decks. And so when I stick 10 of these cards into a caliper, it comes to 2.93. Now 2.93 is the same measurement as the Bicycle Pinup, that was a retail release, uh, the Steeplechase decks, uh, the Inverted Kings from Illusionist, and the White Tally Hose from the United States Playing Card Company. The back design uh, is something that Jackson's been working on for a very long time. He's had very, uh, uh, he's had quite a few different releases, uh, different prototypes of the Silver Arrows design, and so I'm finally uh, glad to see these released. It has a nice thin poker border, and then you can see it has that triptych there in the center that's kind of reminiscent of other uh, United States Playing Card Company classic decks. You also have the arrows going up and down and on the left and the right. Uh, and then some framework uh, pushing out from there. And you know, if you know some of these little uh, magic secrets that are built into the deck, put some comments below in the description and let uh, everyone know what you've seen and what you found in this deck. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. Um, one is black and the other is red. And uh, uh, writing across the top says, aim small, shoot straight. And then beneath that, it says superior brand playing cards. And then you have the picture of an archer. Your Ace of Spades is very classic looking, uh, but one thing I noticed across the top of the regular card is it says Silver Arrow Pokerback. It says Pokerback across the front of the non-Pokerback card. I don't know. And then beneath that it says the Expert Playing Cards, Superior Brand, and Superior Brand Playing Cards. Your pips and indices are all going to be completely standard and instantly recognizable, making them perfect for gameplay and poker. Like I said before, your faces are the standard superior faces, and they have a very classic look that kind of uh, have a reminiscent of the old school Arco decks. All right, so that is my review of the Silver Arrow deck from Jackson Robinson, Conjuring Arts Research Center, and the Expert Playing Card Company. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.